A Centerville workshop is preparing for its kids' art camp. It's a much different scene from a year ago when it had to close due to the pandemic. Two News reporter Kelly King has details of the camp and what it took to get to this point. We primarily do our projects on wood. You don't need to be artistic. We use all stencils, so you don't have to worry about free handing. To create something at AR Workshop in Centerville, all you need is a little bit of heart. You know, one of the best ways to, you know, get your emotions out so far is to be creative. The DIY boutique opened in 2019 just six months before the pandemic started. When COVID hit, they did what they do best and got creative. What we're known for and what we love are actually in-person workshops, which we obviously couldn't do, so we switched to to-go model. To-go bags contain everything you need to make your project at home, including a list of instructions. And while they've opened back up to in-person workshops, these to-go kits are still a popular option. We heard from several customers, families that came in to buy kits to do at home, or they would create some kits and watch a movie. Now back at it, they're in the middle of an eight week DIY kids series and they're getting ready for their youth art camp. Our summer camps we offer throughout the summer. So currently we have one scheduled for each month. And here's another example of one of our string art projects. Getting their hands messy, they're welcoming kids to do the same. You can create a canvas project, you can create a wood project, and some textured picture frames. You can choose any of any of the projects from our catalog. And we also have a special tie dye week too where you can come in and make t-shirts and pillowcases and, and plank signs. The camp is for kids 7 through 14 but is scaled back a bit due to COVID restrictions. They'll create four projects as well as a t-shirt over the course of the camp. Kelly King, 5 on 2.